Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. Um, I'm doing another flight of the M600 from Mira Robot. I wasn't actually satisfied with that first flight I did because I discovered really late that this uses differential thrust. I should have known that. That was my fault uh, to turn. Okay, and that really enhances the flight ability of this drone. Uh, what I mean by differential thrust is these motors, the motor, one, when you give it uh, rudder control, this does not have a rudder notice, <laughs> but when you give it rudder control, these motors will serve as a rudder. Is one of them will spin faster than the other, giving more thrust on the motor to enhance the turn of the airplane. Um, it took me a long time to figure that with yesterday's flight or the previous day's flight, but uh, now that I know that's how it works, <laughs> I should have known that. Uh, I'm going to redo the flight. So I'm going to do it here. We're just going to play here, see how it works. I do have some wind today, so it's still going to be have some difficulty with vertical takeoffs and landings, but we're going to try them anyways. So again, to fire this up, as discussed previously, this ready-to-fly airplane, all we need to do is plug in the battery. Actually, I should have turned on the transmitter first before that. I hope it's not too late. Transmitter is on, and actually I got it armed. Make sure it's disarmed, folks. <laughs> that was really stupid of me too, um, because this motors, when armed and connected to the transmitter, will spin an idle. Okay, we got connection now. When it is in vertical mode, we weren't in vertical mode, and that's what saved me there from getting nicked by those propellers. So again, and the disarmed position is toward you on this transmitter for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it is. Okay, let's plug up the compartment. And the wind is coming from that direction, so we put the wings parallel with the wind. And we check our control surfaces. They seem to be working. Down, up, and we're in vertical takeoff position. And we're gonna arm the motors, and I'm gonna step back. As I learned yesterday, you want to be, don't want to be close to this when it does vertical takeoff. Starting the motors in. Applying throttle. Give it a lot of throttle. Let's bring it up close so you can see it. Okay. The wind died down right now. Let's see if I can land it, too. Trying to bring it toward me. The wind's coming from my right now. Can I get it on the pad? Well, what do you know? Take it off again. <laughs> Let's try that uh, horizontal flight. Going up higher, horizontal flight. So again, yeah, this is a neat airplane. Very fast airplane too, by the way. Fast airplane. Those motors are powerful on this thing. But yeah, yesterday, I couldn't turn this for the life of me. I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong with it because I wasn't applying rudder. You know, I was flying a three-channel airplane, and three-channel uses the right stick to control the rudder, and that's what I was doing, using the right stick. And all I was getting is a little bit of aileron bank, like right now, and that's how fast it was turning. But when I threw in rudder, differential thrust, that thing turns real fast. As you see there. Okay, let's go back into vertical. And see if I can land it again. Landing it. I'm trying to bring down the throttle. It doesn't it's not coming down. Throttle's low. Well, I guess that's the lowest it'll do. And plop. Disconnect. <laughs> If you flip over, you want to disarm quickly. Okay, let's see here. I think I need to rebind the airplane too. When, yeah, when this thing lands and it, you know, its motors shut off automatically uh, upon impact with the ground. But to rebind it, you're going to need to restart the, you know, replug in its battery, then uh, reconnect it to the transmitter, or, and then again while in uh, horizontal stabilized position, arm it, and that will bind it. Uh, don't do this in vertical. You know, don't bind it in vertical because um, doing such. Okay, 
I'm not getting any. Okay, there we go. How come I wasn't getting in here? In the horizontal. Well, I'm getting some, some movement. Let's try it. Taking off vertical. Bringing it down low. The wind's coming from my right, so I'm knifing it to the right. If I, if I would turn it sideways, it'll blow away from me. I'm getting back. The wind's buffing in it. Going up higher. Going to horizontal flight mode. <laughs> that wind is buffing in it right now. And when the wind hits it, it becomes real wonky. So we're going to fly at horizontal for the remainder of the flight because the wind is really picking up here. But you got to see some vertical. I'm just going to try to fly it gentle here. There's going down wind. Coming back up wind. See those trees? How much wind is here? And there's no way I'm not, I'm not going to go in 3D today because of the wind also. But it can go 3D if you want to do uh, loops and rolls, acrobatics. It can do such. But I'm just trying to fly it in the wind here. Um, the stabilization system on this is great. In this a horizontal stabilized position, it's you know it's getting buffeted real big time by that wind, but it's staying up there. Look how I could turn this thing. That's amazing, huh? Turn it hard. Bring it back. Can it climb? Oh, it can climb very well. <laughs> but it won't loop. It'll just do a high, hard turn. I hear a helicopter coming in. i got to land it here for a second, folks. Hold on. Bringing it in, bringing it in. Let's see how... This is a helicopter coming into our hospital here. And we're going to wait until that helicopter passes. Figure out which way the wind's blowing from. Over there. Putting it horizontal to the wind. Transmitter should have been on, but I think I'll be able to re reconnect it here. Okay, horizontal mode. I got there. We got connection again. And now I'll disarm, go into vertical, and let's take off again. And go into horizontal. Now, the balance point, center of gravity on this. With the provided battery, it's very far back. Um, you're, I haven't done this yet, but you should put a little bit of, uh, you know, should balance the center of gravity. Even with the stock battery, it's not sufficient uh, for this airplane, especially if you're going to be flying this in 3D. Um, it needs a little more nose weight. You notice how wonky it was there on takeoff until I figured that out. It trimmed itself automatically. But uh, either that or you're going to have to trim this <laughs> to prevent that wonkiness. I haven't done such. <laughs> I should center the, or balance the center of gravity on this. And again, it needs a little nose weight. Maybe a bigger battery than the 800 milliamp hour that they give you. But I don't know if it'll fit in there. <laughs> Not much bigger batteries could fit in its battery bay. Nice airplane, though. And again, a par it's a park flyer. I'm flying in my park here. It's, it can remain within the park. You don't have to send it miles away. And you can fly it nice and slow. And the wind's dying down right now. Maybe I should try uh, another vertical landing. Let's go upwind. Never mind, the wind's still big, or still picking up up above me. I just, I'm just not feeling it down here on the ground. There's still a lot of wind up, up in altitude where the airplane's at. I can see that right now. So, that's about enough of this. It's just a second flight. I wanted to show it to you up, doing some more vertical. I tried. Again, it's windy again today. But it is a nice airplane. 
and again competing with the it's a mod uh, clone of the e-flight expert which is still out there by the way and mirage e mirage 500 is also a uh, clone of the expert <laughs> but nice little clone well performing here at little airplane okay i'm gonna land it i'm not gonna fly it all the way until the battery dies because it's flight time is uh, i think it was 18 minutes the other day so let's bring it in general horizontal landing if i can that's it so that's the second flight of the mirror uh, robot m600 vtol hope you enjoyed this flight this is quad cupter 101 signing out